Hello, fire prevention folk. We're glad you care. This is the DIY guy, Aaron Harris, here to harden our homes. It's the pausing of fire season. Fire season is never over, but we're gonna prepare and we're gonna work through the winter and we're gonna harden our homes, but we're not gonna do it alone. We're gonna do it with, it with my friend Kazoo from Fire Farms. And she is a contractor, a musician, an activist, but a kindly helper today. Help us harden our home, Kazoo. For sure, Aaron. Um, so there's a bunch of different things that you can do from putting in a metal roof, putting in gutter guards to protect debris from accumulating. You can do stucco on your side of your house. But the most important and probably the easiest thing that everybody can do is to put in fire vent, fireproof venting or ember proof venting. So we're going to start over here. We've got a couple vents ready to go. Let's check it out. Oh, vents, 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 vents. <laughs> All right, so right here we have a perfect example of a fire starter. These are vents, foundation vents that you'll find in most homes. And the issue with this is that these holes are big enough for embers to pass through and set your house on fire. And embers are what we're worried about. High winds circulating in this area. And I just happen to have some embers. Ah, perfect. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so let's see if that was real embers. What do we have? Boom. Tons of embers on a flammable surface. There goes your house. House ignition. Completely avoidable with a simple replacement of an ember safe vent. Let's do that. All right, so we're gonna just take off the old one and replace it with one of these Vulcan vents. There's different brands you can use. This is just the one we're gonna use. Now, Vulcan has got the honeycomb on the inside, a, a, a wire to hold the honeycomb in, but then what's really gonna stop the embers is this 16th inch stainless steel mesh. So that's gonna happen. The, that's gonna stop the, the embers coming in. The uh, honeycomb is gonna shut down. If it gets 700 degrees, it shuts down so flames won't get in there. So that, the honeycomb's really for flames up against the house. So this is a full protection vent. How's now, it going? It's going pretty good. Now, if you didn't want to spend all that extra money, you could use a finer mesh to get rid of, uh, to, to make the holes smaller. Extra money for this vent? Extra money for this vent. Okay. But if you wanted to, even just putting a 16th inch hole screen on the back of this would be a great upgrade from what we have now. Yeah, that would knock out all the embers and it would save your insides. So for the protection of your house, you want to make sure you're caulking the back of your vents. And what are you using? I'm using silicone here. If we weren't in such a quick mode, I would normally use liquid nails for this. So I'm putting a nice thick bead all the way around here where the surface is going to touch. And this is a standard size vent. The majority of the houses have this size and literally pop them out, pop them in, and you have hardened. Um, first step in hardening your home. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and put this guy back in here. And I'm gonna fasten it with some number eight, three quarter inch self-tapping screws. Where are they? So let me show from the inside. Because we have it in a door, you can see. So now you see it's sitting inside and um, you've got your honeycomb here and then the, the mesh on the outside, boom, sits. Now, what you, what you will notice is that we've moved from a painted vent that, that was just painted over the top to a shiny metal. So afterwards, you're gonna come along and you're gonna paint the edges, make sure it's nice and clean and tidy. Um, you can even go over the top. Now. Airflow is important, so you don't want to get too much paint over the top of your vent. And that should be it. So I'm going to come through and do a little cock bead just to protect from water intrusion. And that'll be that. Beautiful.
what is it? Five minutes for some peace of mind. Well done, there you kazoo. Go. Yeah. You know, that five minutes could save your home. Let's go see and talk about some other vent possibilities. Great, sounds good. Vents, 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 vents land. What have you made for us, Kazoo? Um, so I just put together a couple of examples of standard vents you'll find in attics. So this is a dormer vent. Uh, right now we have an eighth inch mesh on here. On this one you'll see we've got the louvered outside and a pretty wide gauge on the inside. You really want to get down to a sixteenth inch mesh behind any vent. Embers prevented from getting into your attic. And then these little guys they're um, they're great. They have a 16th inch mesh on the back side, louvered on the front, so that'll take an ember shower down and away. You could also do a honeycomb vent, which is going to actually close up and keep embers all the way out. Direct flame, and those will melt right up. And they just pop out, put a little caulk behind it, and pop them right in. Very simple install if you're handy on a ladder. Sweet man. Vents, vents, vents. Thank you very much you're for welcome. doing the work. Where do people find you? So we have a website. It's uh, www.firefarms.org, or you can find us through Fire Safe Marin. That easy, people. Kazoo, it's been really fun to work with you. Me too, Aaron. Uh, 16th inch, best for keeping embers out of your basement and your attic. Eighth, pretty good, and the code. Four, change Four. it. Don't do change it. Change it. Change it. It's winter time. It is a great time to harden your house. Start the process. You saw how easy it was for us to change a vent. You change vents, and then you start working on the other stuff. All right, let's get to work. Come on.